Hello everybody, welcome back to class again. In this little video here, we're gonna be, again, working on just calculating density. Um, we're gonna be using this density triangle again and we're going through and looking at the word problems and actually calculating density. Remember that with this density triangle, whenever you go to calculate it, what we're going to do is cover up what we want to calculate. In this case, because in all these problems we're calculating density, we're gonna cover up the density part. So what this is telling us to do then is density equals mass divided by volume. So we have density equals mass divided by volume. Remember mass is gonna be in grams and volume is gonna be in milliliters or centimeters cubed, depending on what's being measured. So let's go straight into this first one here. It says a solid rubber stopper has a mass of 33.0 grams and a volume of 30.0 cubic centimeters. What is the density of the rubber? At this time, please go through and try to solve this problem. When you go through and solve this problem, what you notice is you have a mass of 33.0 grams and a volume of 30.0 cubic centimeters. So you would start everything off by plugging it in to your equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. Your mass was 33.0 grams. Make sure you always include those units. And then you have 30.0 centimeters cubed. Then all you're going to do is divide. 33.0 divided by 30 equals 1.1 grams per centimeters cubed. Remember, this here is our new unit because they do not cancel. We have grams and we have grams and we have centimeters cubed. They do not cancel, they do not disappear. We got to keep them. So we bring them over to the unit grams per centimeters cubed. When you're working through these on your own, either in these Ed Puzzle videos or on your own in like a Google Form worksheet or on a test or quiz, I highly recommend having a scrap sheet of paper so that you can write all of this out and you can get uh, practice at put, plugging everything into the equation in the proper way. So let's move on to the next problem here. I'm going to scroll down a little. Number two says, an irregularly shaped sample of aluminum is found to have a mass of 43.60 grams. Students decide to use water displacement to find the volume. Remember, we've already studied water displacement. The initial volume is read as 25.5 milliliters, and after the aluminum sample is added, the water level rises to 41.6 milliliters. What is the density of the aluminum sample? And we're going to round our final answer at the tenth place. We're going to round our final answer at the tenth place. So remember, <clears throat> to calculate density, density equals mass divided by volume. Well, when we look here, we have a mass, so there's our mass, so we're good there. But we're given two different volumes. We're given two different volumes. So we don't have the volume we need because this would be water displacement. And remember, with water displacement, you're going to have to go through and solve for volume of the object first. So at this time, please solve for the volume of the sample of aluminum. So when you go through and solve that, what you get is VO equals VF minus VI equals 41.6 milliliters minus 25.5 milliliters. Volume of the object equals 16.1 milliliters. So this volume of the object is going to be our volume we use to calculate the density of the aluminum sample. And then we're going to continue through with the problem. Plug the uh, mass in. Oh, sorry. At this time, please go through and solve the density of this aluminum sample. When you go through and solve, you get 43.60 grams divided by 16.1 milliliters equals 
when we round, we're doing this after we round. Remember, we're rounding at the hundredth. It would be 2.71 grams per milliliter. And again, grams comes along, milliliters comes along. We need both of those in there. So let's move on to our last problem here. Move on to our last problem. Again, I'll write the equation because the triangle is gone. Density equals mass divided by volume. It says a, a machine shop worker records the mass of a perfectly square aluminum cube as 176.00 grams. If one side of the square cube measures four centimeters, what is the density of the aluminum? Again, with this, we have a mass here. So we have a mass, but we don't have a volume. We have a length here. We have a length. So what this is actually saying, when it says a perfectly square cube, if it's perfectly square, remember a square is the same on all sides. So what we actually have is a cube with the dimensions 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So what we actually got going on here for volume equals length times width times height. Please go through and solve for the volume of the cube now. When you go through and solve for the volume of the cube, you get 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters. That's going to equal 64 centimeters cubed. It's got to be cubed. That's something you're going to have to recognize. This here is 4 centimeters. This is not cubed. If it's cubed, it's volume. If it's regular, just centimeters, it's going to be a length. So now what would happen is this volume here is what gets plugged in here. So at this time, please go through and solve the volume of the cube. And when we go through and solve the volume of the cube, we get 176.00 grams divided by 64 centimeters cubed. And remember, grams is abbreviated with that lowercase g. We don't have to write it out. And that equals 2.75 grams per centimeters cubed. And again, these three problems here are just practice working through calculating density. Remember, density is always going to be density equals mass divided by volume. Later this week, we're going to be getting into calculating mass. We're going to be getting into calculating volume using density. If you have any questions with any of this, please do not hesitate to contact me. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.